It has been a number of years since I began excavating the ruins of Kandar with a group of my colleagues. Now my wife and I have retreated to a small cabin in the solitude of these mountains. Here I continued my research undisturbed by the myriad distractions of modern civilization and far from the groves of Akadim. Hi guys and welcome back to Comageddon TV where all geek culture collides. Today we're going to be taking a look at the limited edition the Evil Dead, the Book of the Dead, DVD. I believe I have made a significant find in the Kandarian ruins, a volume of ancient Sumerian burial practices and funerary incantations. It is entitled Naturan de Manto, roughly translated Book of the Dead. The book is bound in human flesh and inked in human blood. As you can see, this is my wife's DVD. She bought this uh, before we even met, but I really liked it. She's the one who introduced me to the Evil Dead. I had heard a lot about it uh, for quite a while before this, before she introduced me to it, uh, but I never got around to watching it. One week, I was homesick with the flu. Well, it was either the flu or bronchitis, something like that. And she had all three, uh, three DVDs. We decided to watch them back to back, and I had to have to say that was the one of the best decisions I had made. See here, it comes in a clear packaging, yellow cardboard up top. The Evil Dead: The Book of the Dead features widescreen pe presentation, enhanced for 16 by 9 TVs, audio commentary with writer and director Sam Raimi and producer Robert Tabert. Audio commentary with star Bruce Campbell, behind the scenes footage and outtakes. Finalysis, an all new 26 minute documentary by Bruce Campbell. Discovering Evil Dead, an all new featurette tracing the film's history, humble beginnings to legendary status. Theatrical trailer, TV spot, poster, and still gallery. Talent bios, languages, English and French. Anchor Bay Entertainment, Dolby Digital Surround Sound. Distributed by Anchor Bay Entertainment and Renaissance Pictures. This movie, I had to watch it shortly, uh, like right before I started filming. I have to watch it right before I start filming any of my short films. My short horror films. Uh, it's not for everybody by any means. But if you're a short horror film maker and you don't have a lot of money to work with. You don't have a lot of experience study this movie there are a lot of problems with it but there's a lot of good about it too so anyway as you can see here we have the necronomicon cover it is made out of like a rubber here on the back face on the front not the, not a perfect likeness likeness of the necronomicon but it gets the picture across Not bad. Open it up. <laughs> and we have the Evil Dead booklet. Bringing the Dead Home for Dinner, a history of the evil dead in your home by Michael Felsher. What more can be said about the evil dead? Here it is some two decades after the film's original premiere at the Cannes Film Festival, and the world has changed quite a bit. Back then, this low-budget feature film was just another cheapy horror flick out to rake in a few bucks, then retire to the sea of forgotten drive-in sludge. Of course, it didn't exactly turn out like that, did it? No, in reality, the Evil Dead premiered to feverishly enthusiastic response, garnered surprisingly strong critical reception, snagged a nifty endorsement from some guy named Stephen King, and went on to become one of the most influential and revered cult films for the past 20 years. Now, how the hell did that happen? Well, 
You might already know the first part. The tales of the flick's shoestring production have been well documented in years past. Bruce Campbell, now a full-fledged cult industry unto himself, has been spinning stories and anecdotes about it for years at conventions and recently devoted a huge chunk of his autobiography to the grueling nature of the Evil Dead's production. Crew member Josh Becker detailed his experiences in very entertaining detail on his website. Culled from his journal entries made during the shoot, Sam Raimi has given countless interviews on the subject and must forever deal with the fact that his name will always be listed in print as Sam the Evil Dead Raimi. Well, at least until Spider-Man comes out. This was released when, during production of the Spider-Man film, the 2000 Spider-Man film. Uh, 2000, what was it, 2001, 2002, somewhere around there. <clears throat> I'm not going to go over, go through the entire booklet and read everything for it. Uh, but I'll give, just kind of flip through, show you what you get. Some nice pictures here. Young Sam Raimi. This really is a great film to watch. If you're a budding filmmaker uh, who's trying to create something but doesn't really know how to, doesn't really have the experience, uh, watch this. Study this film. Nice picture of Bruce Campbell covered in blood. And there's the back. Evil Dead, the Book of the Dead. Got a couple blank pages there. Introduction. Legend has it, it was written by the Dark Ones. Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Roughly translated, Book of the Dead. Way back in 1979, I created the Book of the Dead. The Dagger of the Dead. And the makeup and special effects mayhem. For Sam Raimi's The Evil Dead. For all of us working on the film... It was a grueling labor of love. We thought that if our modest horror movie played in a couple of drive-ins down south, we'd have made our mark. Evil Dead, it appears, has mutated beyond all expected success. Like the twitching body parts of the possessed dismembered, it will not die. Not surprisingly, Evil Dead is loved by people of humor, taste, intelligence, and creativity. I know. Because I've met a world full of them. As an artist, I can't express how much the Evil Dead's fans' enthusiastic response means to me. It's a genuine bona fide thrill to share some secrets and magic in this special presentation of The Evil Dead. As much as I know you will enjoy the film and features, I think I have a clue to its success. Therefore, I want to encourage the artists, writers, filmmakers, and dreamers out there to trust in yourselves. Use your creative skills and inspirations and bring your efforts to the world. In that spirit, I present to you the Book of the Dead, Tom Sullivan. Dedicated to the... I, I can't really make that out, guys. I, I'm sure if I had some time to study it, I could figure it out, but... Book of the Dead sculpted and pages artwork created by Tom Sullivan. Copyright 2002. Nice little image there of snake, skull, bird, some skeletons. Evil! I like the what they're going for with this, but it's really pretty difficult to make out and read. At a glance, you know. Some deadites. Images of deadites there. I don't think we actually got a name for them though until until Army of Darkness. I could be wrong, but I don't think the deadites were actually called deadites in the films until Army of Darkness. Got a map here. Picture of an eyeball with all the little nerve endings and everything coming out of it. Image of the front of the Book of the Dead. 
some blank pages. Evil Dead on the web, cast and crew, Sam Raimi, Sublime Sam, Bruce Campbell, Bruce Campbell Online, BruceCampbell.com. I'm sure some of these websites are probably defunct now, because um, it's been so long. Uh, they may have kept them up in the age of Facebook and Twitter and all that. Um, personal websites have become a thing of the past. Uh, everything you w ever hope to find on those websites can now be seen on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. So, but as you can see here, we got a little uh, kind of glued in picture of the woman deadite from the first film. Uh, I'm not sure why they did that though. Uh, it looks like, yeah, that's probably it. There we go. Put that in there just like that. Keep it safe. Chapter selection. List of chapters here. The DVD image of Bruce Campbell on the front. Ash. Groovy. Very nice. Anchorbayentertainment.com. Once again, guys, I really like this movie. I have to watch it before I film any of my short horror films. Uh, along with, you know, whatever uh, whatever style I'm trying to go for as well uh, with a uh, certain film. Uh, with my last film, Bloody Mary, I watched this. And then I, wa I watched a ton of Hitchcock because that's the style I was wanting to go for. Um so yeah if you're if you're if you want to be a filmmaker if you want to even just create short youtube films horror films whatever watch this study it it's not really wanting to sit in there right flush that might be why my wife had it like that but watch this study it uh, not the best movie, but definitely one to watch. Uh, other movies to watch if you're a budding horror filmmaker. Uh, the first, uh, Halloween film. The original. Um, Friday the 13th, 1 and 2. Any of the others are, well, 1, 2, and I'd say 4 and 5. Uh, the 3D one, I wouldn't suggest, uh, but 1, 2, 4, and 5 are great for uh, horror film creators uh, who are just starting out to study. Uh, Psycho, Poltergeist, you know, the classics, guys, the classics. It shouldn't be about gore. It should be about building the suspense. Now, the difference with Evil Dead is that, yes, there was gore. It had the element of The Exorcist had. Um, that sty style of makeup. The real creepy, real disgusting makeup. Uh, it, had a, it had gore, but it was done in a fashion where it was so obviously fake. The blood was so obviously super bright red. You could tell it wasn't real blood. It didn't look like real blood. Uh, and that's the that's what Sam Raimi was going for and Bruce Campbell's portrayal of Ash it was over the top he he was a background character at first uh, he blended in until he was the last one alive that is great acting if you're gonna be the lone survivor of a film you shouldn't stand out until the very end you need to blend in and that i give it up to bruce campbell's acting for um i also kind of give it up to the writing for making bruce campbell blend in with all the other characters until the right moment you know most movies nowadays 
you know who's going to be the survivor. Uh, even in the 80s and 70s with the slasher films, you knew which character was going to be the lone survivor. With Evil Dead, you weren't quite sure until he survived. Until the very end. You weren't sure if anyone was going to survive, really. But Sam Raimi pulled it off. And I like that about this film. I love that about this film. I would love to aspire to create something as masterful as this film. As I said, it wasn't a perfect film. It was a really amazing, low-budget first film. Uh, I'm sure, I don't think it was his first film, but it was an early film. So anyway, guys, there you have it. The limited edition, The Evil Dead, The Book of the Dead. DVD Special Edition. Original copyright in 1982. But I'm not seeing this release's copyright. Maybe it's inside. I'd really like to be able to tell you guys exactly what year this came out. So that if you're looking for it, you uh, will have an easier chance. 2002 was the uh, package design copyright. Came out... Around the same time as Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. Hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Go out, pick you up a copy of the limited edition Evil Dead, the Book of the Dead collectible set. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care.